have fun today. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, this morning I want to uh, talk about proving something. Um, when we prove something, we usually put it to the test. And we're going to actually do that today. If we all probably have a game plan or a theory on how things should play out. And when we get on the water, we're going to actually prove it. We're going to try to see what our... Uh, how well we're going to do it. Hopefully if we don't empty net, we'll be proving something right. <laughs> but uh, proving something is actually a, bib uh, a biblical thing. Um, the Bible talks about that. Um, it'd be like the same way if uh, if I asked each one of us here today, if we took our last breath on this earth, where would we end up? And of course, everybody's going to say heaven. Nobody's going to say, I'm going to hell or anything like that. But the Bible wants you to prove that. Because um, when it comes said that time when that last breath is done, whatever that, uh, whatever that is you're holding on to, that's going to, you're taking it to the bank. It's going to be said, done, and over with. But the Bible actually asks you to, to prove it something. In 2 Corinthians 13, 5, the Bible says, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus is in you, except you be reprobates. And that reprobate is not where you want to be. That's either disallowed or rejected. But when we prove ourselves, what are we proving it against? What are we stacking up against? When I was young, well, when I was young, I actually <laughs> thought everybody went to heaven. I got a little bit older. I got baptized. I thought that would get me to heaven. But when I proved that against the Bible, it, it doesn't hold up anything. Now, the Bible has a condition. Uh, Romans 3.23 says, We all sin and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Luke 5, 31, 32, And Jesus answered, said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. We all have a condition, and it's a sin nature. Uh, when the Bible says all, it pretty much means all of us. Most of us can recognize that. That's your condition. If you end up in that condition, that's going to be the reprobate. The promise is Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 1 John 5, 13 says, These things I have written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. It's a quick little thought, but what I want to leave with you is prove yourself, your salvation. Dwell upon it. Think about it. If today was the day that your last breath should take, what are you basing your salvation on? What proof, what substance do you have to actually stand on? If not, I pray that you would seek the Lord Jesus Christ, become his personal Savior. You can always take your proof. The pudding is in that Bible, God's Word. If you stand upon that, you can't fail. And that's really the, the thought that I had today for that, is to take that proof on where, if you should take that last breath, what are you actually standing on? Father, we thank you for this time that you've given. Lord, I pray that uh, you could take that little feeble thought that I had, and I know I butchered it, but Lord, I pray that you would just take it and burn it in the hearts of lives. God, as we fish today, I pray that that thought would ponder upon it, Lord. What are we actually standing on, on eternal life? Lord, I know there's many thoughts and uh, ways people claim that they can come to you, but God, you are the uh, author and finisher of our faith, Lord. You are the truth, and I pray that each one would, uh, uh, that you would take the scales off each eyes, Lord. I pray that whatever's hindering someone from coming to you this year, Lord, I pray that you would uh, uh, do that work that's necessary. Lord, as we go in this water, Lord, out here just to fish, I pray that you would keep us safe. I pray that you would watch over each one. I pray that you bring us back. It's in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.